So welcome to this unboxing of the Epiphone Les Paul Studio LT, otherwise known as the E1. Now, there's a reason that I've got my Gibson here, and this one is a bit of a surprising one. It was listed as pretty much near new. So it was, it was a five, it was listed as out of five, and there was nothing untoward, apparently, to do with the guitar. But it did come with a bit of a surprise, which we're going to get into, and I will do the full unboxing now with you, and you can witness it for yourself. And you can tell me in the comments what you think. Is it a great thing? Is it a disaster? I don't know. Um, it came as a surprise to me. I think for my purpose, it's actually pretty cool. I'm actually pretty happy about it. It's an extra mod. I was not expecting the guitar because they used stock photographs and they said the guitar was pretty much new. So um, here we go. We're going to do the unboxing <laughs> and um, oh dear me, I just I, I just laugh because buying online, I, I, I keep on saying I'm not, I'm just going to stop doing it. I'm just going to stop doing it. But I keep getting things here and there. I do still, I buy in store as well, buy used, buy here and there, just, you know, whatever takes my fancy when I find something. So Here's just the usual gubbins, those all those bits. I mean, this is how sort of nearly new it is. It even comes in its in a in a box. Brilliant stuff. I'm really really happy. So um, take this off. Now you can see the box itself actually comes with this, which is brilliant. This is fantastic for the headstock. As you might know, I unboxed um, my PRS a little while ago, and that came with a huge ding at the end. I was so unhappy with that. So. Um, that at least protects the guitar, which is great. If you're buying one of these, it means that it is going to be protected somewhat, which is just superb. Now, when I first had a look at this, because I'm kind of like doing this again for the purpose of the camera, when I first did this, I took this all off, and there we go. Oh, it's looking rather nice, isn't it? And it does, as they say, it does look pretty much brand new. And it is brand new, and I'm very, very happy with it. And um, in case you're wondering, I will also be doing a full review of this guitar as well on the channel. Um, I really think this is a, an absolutely fantastic guitar. I love it, and um, I'm definitely keeping it. And I'm not, you know, I'm not sending it back or anything because of what's uh, materialised with it. So it's a rather beautiful guitar, and as you can see, it does mimic my Gibson rather nicely, and it doesn't feel all that different. It's a lovely feeling guitar. It's beautiful, but it's um, I don't know, pretty much I'd say what a fifth of the cost or something. But but. What about the eagle-eyed among you? Can you spot something that's a bit strange? Oh yes, <laughs> that caught me by surprise as well. And that, and I suddenly thought to myself, well, what's gone on here? So you can probably tell, as you as you might know, um, these guitars do not actually come with a pick guard. So I thought, oh flip, what's gone on here? So it's okay, so great, it's been drilled. But does it even come with a pit guard? So I carried on rooting through the box itself. I will actually move the Gibson to one side so that we don't destroy that. I thought to myself, well, okay, maybe this isn't a complete disaster. Maybe this is actually going to be turn out to be quite good um, and a good thing. So in fact, I then found in the in here um, it came with. Let's have a look. What have we got? So we have got the pit guard fitting there we've got the pit guard and we do have um, the screws and a couple of little felt covers so I don't know how much of a fuss to make about this really um, in terms of going back to the company and saying hey look what what on earth but because I mean this is almost an upgrade is it an upgrade is it a, I don't know I mean obviously if you don't want uh, the holes drilled in arguably it protects the guitar um, once you've got the pit guard on but the holes themselves, oh, I was kind of like, well, I don't know. If you did want to keep it with your pit guard off, I know, so that might bug some people, I suppose, like that. That might upset you. Maybe does that upset you? I don't know. It's, you know, I'm still trying to work it out. Having said that, in terms of the overall guitar, I can say I've, I've given it a quick go as well. It is a really lovely, lovely guitar. It's a, it's a fantastic thing, this. Um, I'm very, very happy with it indeed. Um, it's a massive upgrade, actually, from a special two, if you're thinking of one of those. And from everything I've seen, I nearly got myself an Epiphone SL, which is now called the Epiphone Melody Maker E1, I believe, which, unfortunately, I think the SL, um, as you might have seen from Philip McKnight's video, I don't think that's necessarily that great unless you do some upgrades to it. 
which um, you know maybe you want to do that maybe you don't but I think this is just a really super guitar from the off and you don't need to do anything to this it's a bit more money but it's still cheap for what it is it does have the bolt-on neck it's actually been done very very tastefully it's got the cutaway there and the bolts the bolts are in there and it doesn't actually have a plate there this looks really really nice it does feel really lovely to play there's the neck for you quick preview of what the neck looks like there's the tuners you can see this um, the attachment here where the, you've got the two pieces of wood I think they call this you know correct me if I'm wrong in the comments I think they call this a Spanish volute I believe um, it's a way of sticking that that, that piece of the headstock on um, that apparently is, is a really really solid way of doing guitars so I can't argue with that very very nice indeed the main difference between this guitar and my Gibson see the bolt on we see the pickups are a bit different these are pretty raucous nice pickups actually I really do like these um, all of this works very well indeed I can't really complain it looks really nice the finish is very nice indeed it's a very tasteful guitar it does come in different colors you've got like a sunburst you've got the black and you've got kind of more like um, another kind of darker burst finish, I believe. In fact, let's, let's do a quick preview. I'll, I'll put it there. You can tell me what you think it looks like. Do you think it looks cool? Do you think it looks terrible? Um, I think it's gonna actually, I think it does look really cool, um, to be honest. I think it, it suits the guitar a lot and brings it closer to what the Gibson really does look like. Really, I mean, on stage, I mean, who's gonna know? But it's, um, you know, unless somebody's really looking for it, there you go. There, just about, there you go, pretty much fits on like that. So I think that actually it does look really, really good, which is why I think, in fact, it's I could I classify this as an upgrade rather than something that I'm actually unhappy about. I reckon, you know, you can get away with that and it looks absolutely awesome. You'd never know that wasn't stock, to be honest. Um, and what with the, the felt fittings and everything in there, I think it's a really nice addition. So, you know, as I'm talking, as I'm going through this, I was a little bit shocked initially when I discovered that. But I think it does look I think it does look really good and I think that might become a permanent fixture and it's going to protect the guitar as well because otherwise the guitar is pretty much um, faultless it's got no scratches or anything that I can see so very very happy indeed I think the, the fretboard is probably a bit dry I'll probably have to put some lemon oil on all, all that but it's um yes yeah, a really nice feeling neck kind of that sort of slim it's they say they say slim but actually it's not um there are many slimmer um, necks out there this is not a really super super skinny neck it's somewhere in between um, it's got a kind of it's got a slightly slightly more um, chunkier feel to it than your super slim necks it's definitely not your kind of slim C neck you get on a fender this has got um, more shoulders to it which I actually really like it's great for bending if that's your thing bending and it also so if it's a very fast playing neck it's really nice love it um, given that mine my sort of preferred neck is normally kind of like an Ibanez RG. I kind of go between that and these um, kind of Gibson, Les Paul, Epiphone Les Paul style guitars. And I love to have that kind of familiarity of that kind of D shape. So yeah, I think it's a super guitar. We've seen plenty more of this on the channel and a full review. And um, there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.